Now, the next project under the FOSI group is the implementation of virtual lab experiment in Sandhi. So friends, give a huge round of applause for them. Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Sudhan Sudhani, and my project name is Sandhi. So let's first discuss about what is Sandhi. It is a free and open source uh, visual programming editor. And in this, we can uh, create a, a flow graph by using the blocks. And uh, this uh, editor is developed uh, by FOSI team at IIT Bombay, which is a which is a extension of GNU Radio. And uh, GNU Radio is a free and open source uh, software development kit uh, that provides uh, blocks to implement uh, software radios. Uh, Sandhi uh, runs on Linux only. Uh, the interface is easy and clean. Uh, that means we can use drag and drop. Uh, it is used to carry out control system experiment and uh, the main advantage of uh, Sandhi in respect of GNU, GNU radio is that it supports uh, feedbacks that is not supported by uh, GNU radio and uh, the size of the Sandhi is very, I mean, uh, not too much of high, it's like uh, without dependency it will take only 20 MB and it supports multiple languages uh, like uh, Python, C++, Skylab, and GNU Octave. So my task is to implement virtual labs experiments into the Sandhi because uh, virtual labs uh, previous uh, virtual labs are implemented in LabVIEW, but LabVIEW is a proprietary software that requires uh, too much of, that is too costly and license for is very expensive expensive. So uh, Sandhi is a solution. So I have I have performed five experiments I successfully. It's like superposition, Thebnin, Norton, intelligence and compensations. So let me show it in the Sandhi. This one is the superposition principle. Uh, it will, the output of the top block the output of the top block will show the current in the branches. Uh, first I calculated the, first I removed the EMF source in the first circuit and calculate the current in the sub branches like I1 dash, I2 dash and then uh, remove the second EMF source and uh, keep and then ca uh, calculated the current and then finally the current will come like the current the three of the branches, uh, some total of the, here we can see that the sum total of the current that is I2 and I3 gives the current I1 is the current the sub branches and uh, for the circuit purpose you can refer to the site IIT Bombay KZ Kharagpur because the experiment that I have implemented uh, available in that sites only. The next experiment I implemented is Intelligent theorem and according to that theorem, uh, the power delivered in the circuit, uh, the power is conserved. So, so it will so the top block will show the power in the circuit and the current in the branches. The power delivered and power observed are approximately same. Uh, the error is due to the some uh, uh, circuit parameters changes. I mean, uh, the power delivered I have calculated by the help of the ma manual things and power observed. Calculated by the help of uh, by calculating the circuit power meters in all the uh, considering the Ohm's law. So okay, thank you. <laughs> 